I'm in a relationship with a man and I don't have the proper genitalia. Sometimes uh, when I'm in a crowd of people and there's a lot of noise, I freeze up and I get lost. And when I was diagnosed with Asperger's syndrome, this explained a lot of things to me. Our relationship started at the Geneva Center for Autism. Slowly, John pursued me, and I started falling in love with John. And then one day, I thought to myself, I'm going to tell John that I'm a transsexual. I think I found someone who's the perfect match. The only thing wrong is she doesn't have a vagina. And we've been together since July 27, 2003. But in order for us to have a sexual relationship, she needs to have a vagina. And that's when we'll get married. One day, the Ontario government delisted funding for sex reassignment surgery. So that meant I had to become an activist. And I launched a human rights case. Will you ensure that your government respects the ruling and reinstate the funding? John found an American doctor who invited me for a consultation. You have diabetes, you have hypertension, and you're way overweight. So this increases your chance for problems and complications. Do you understand everything I'm talking about? Um, yes, I do. It's a question of life and death. We're planning to get married after the surgery, have a normal life, of which we cannot have right now. Patient's name is Martine Stonehouse for male to female reassignment surgery. I really hope Martine doesn't die on the operating table. I would feel responsible if something happened because I did push her to have it. In a world where not everyone understands me, where not everyone understands Martine, it is kind of a world where we're meant to be. Martine, open your eyes. Open your eyes. <laughs>